The film opens with a man and his dog in a cave, where they have come to hide a treasure in a box. He also made a map of this place so that he could go but when he was going the cave started shaking. It seems there was an earthquake and the exit was also blocked, so his dog ran to the other side but got stuck in the cave. He gives her a box and a map and tells her to go to a witch who lives far away and give her those things. The dog does the same but he gets stuck there, his dog reaches the witch's house and gives him all the stuff. After this the scene years later is shown in the story. This story was being told to their children and their friends by a man named, Emmett, the grandson of the man who had died in the cave. How his grandfather hid the treasure in this village, but we learn that he borrowed money from, Emmett's, uncle. Son's friend the man comes there to take money from, Emmett, and was also asking for very high interest and, Emmett gives notice to it to return the money within five days, otherwise his farm and house will be taken over. Saying all this the man goes away. As soon as he left, some men arrived in a car carrying Emmett's grandfather's belongings, which he gave to Emmett, while dying. He is given a big box and Emmett is happy to see it. He was expecting that it would contain a large amount that would be useful to him, and that he would pay off his debt. There was a dog in the box when he opened it which was named Timber. He gives it to his children and leaves with his friend for an assignment towards the city to arrange the money. He gives the responsibility of taking care of all the children to his eldest daughter. Emmett's son, along with his friend's daughter, brings in the box that contained timber and finds grandfather's picture in a map. It was hidden in the cave by his grandfather. Emmett's son becomes overjoyed and thinks the story of the treasure is true. They decide to find out the treasure meanwhile her elder sister comes and says I am going to a party so please stay at home do not go out but when she is gone they take the necessary things and take them with their dogs to find the treasure. They go to the cave we saw at the beginning of the story and see something on the ground. Digging from there, they find a box. Emmett's son tries to open the box with the key given to him by his father. When the box was not opened, he saw that his father's grandfather's dog, Timber, had a key around its neck. He takes the key and tries to open the box and it opens. He finds an iron piece and a map to move forward. They get happy seeing this and start moving but the man is also following them. From whom? Emmett. Had borrowed money because when? Emmett's. Grandfather was going to hide the treasure so the earthquake in the cave was actually an explosion of the man's grandfather because he too was searching for treasure. Emmett's. Son and his friend have seen them. He sends his men after them. But they escaped from there and proceeded as per the map. On moving forward, when his dog lay upside down, he saw a mountain. Appears to be visible when lying upside down and the dog asks to see them. This is how Emmett's son and his friends see the mountain and moving forward, they get a gold coin, seeing which they become happy. They think they are on the right track and after going some distance they see a stone which but it was written that if you want to take the treasure, you have to go in the direction the mountain is pointing. By going there you will get a lot of gold and silver, now they start swimming in the water to go to the other side with their dogs. After reaching there they get tired and they also feel hungry and they think that they have to catch fishes and cook them. Because they didn't take any food and the dogs were gathering wood and looking for a clue. Elsewhere. Emmett's older daughter returns home and is worried about not finding her brother. Emmett returns with his friend and when they ask about the kids his older daughter lies that they are at her friend's house. Son of Emmett, who was looking for treasure with his friends, finds a hole in the woods in which they find old things with a bell and something was written on the bell. His friend was explaining to him and telling him that it would tell us the way forward meanwhile, a wolf comes and they are scared by it but Emmett's son throws his bag at it. On the other hand, the man-wolf who is chasing the children to get the treasure approaches them which scares them. They get in his car and he has a device that can deliver electric shocks but it is accidentally triggered when he is about to use it on the wolf and in his haste they get electrocuted. Emmett becomes concerned and proceeds to search for the children when he cannot find them. Emmett's friend has a tracking device with the help of which Emmett goes to trace the children but the children move forward and reach the witch's house. The witch who was given a box with some stuff by Emmett's grandfather and that witch was not like other witches, but she was a good witch, she sees the children are tired and asks them to come inside. She treats the wound of a friend of Emmett's son and tells them that she is in love with her mother here, and when Emmett's son names his father, 
the witch says the name of his father's grandfather and asks do you know him. He says yes he was my father's grandfather and the witch gives him a box which was given to him by his father's grandfather. She tells that my family has kept it and if you are their relative then keep it. Emmett's son opens the box with the key hanging around his neck and finds a small axe and a map of how to proceed. The kids look outside and the man was there following them but the witch shows them the secret way out meanwhile, the man also arrives at the door of the witch who was following the children. He asks Diane where are the children, but she lies and says she doesn't know where the kids are hot. Man scares her by showing her electric shock device and says look, it will not be good for you if you don't tell the truth. The children reach their final destination but there was a waterfall and no further way but suddenly, their dogs see some marks on the ground and they bark at them. There were traces of a small piece of iron, an axe and a bell, they are still found. As soon as they place those things, a way opens in between the stones and they are happy to see it. Meanwhile, the man who was following them also arrives. And he says thank you my kids for finding the treasure but when he goes ahead on the way many bats come out from there. This distracts them and Emmett's son takes the opportunity to take the things out and go inside with his dogs. As he goes inside the closed way and they go inside and start searching the surrounding areas for treasure, this was the same cave where Emmett's grandfather used to hide the treasure and they used to ride on a trolley. The treasure hunter opens the way by detonating a bomb and Emmett also hears the bomb blast and he reaches there and Emmett's son finds the box in a cave hidden by Emmett's grandfather. They opened it and it was just bones and they think we've just found those old bones after all this hard work our efforts are in vain but Timber finds a gold bone and when they move on there is a lot of gold. He couldn't believe his eyes that he had found the treasure but the treasure hunter arrives and captures them all along with the witch's dog. It attacks the man and the other dogs attack his other companions, meanwhile a man accidentally detonates a bomb. They were burning and the cave was shaking and they hurried out. Exiting, the man behind the treasure tells everyone that this is my treasure and he scares them with an electric shock device but is attacked by Emmett's son's dogs. The device gets switched on by mistake and he suffers electric shock along with the companions. Everyone was laughing at them but Emmett was still worried because the way to the treasure was closed. He thinks that he has to vacate his house after five days but just then the wood comes with a gold bone. Now they don't have to go anywhere and Emmett thinks he'll make a fortune after selling it. This will save their house. In the end, it is shown that Emmett's son finds another treasure map from an animal skeleton, they are overjoyed to see it and decide to locate the treasure. It is a happy ending to the film.